Hey everybody, Scott Welly. Quick video here on how the top 1-2% to of people think. And it was interesting, I was down in Fort Worth, Texas for Advocare's National Leadership School this last weekend. And it was filled with people that are in the top 1-2% to of the company. And honestly, this video won't be as much to do with direct sales as it is if you are going to make it to the top 1-2% to of any field or any area of your life, whether we're talking about business leaders and direct sales or athletics or you could be in the top 1-2% to of chess players and crocheters, but there are certain characteristics and certain things that you must have and you must do. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you is I continually heard some of the same messages, some of the same patterns, and you know some of the same routines that were really revealed by some of these people that are in the top one to two percent. And I think if you're looking to go to a higher level of performance in any area of your life and get to that top one to two percent, I really think these things can benefit you. And I really break it down into four separate buckets. And that first bucket is just simply what I refer to as the hit submit mindset. And I'll elaborate on that in a second, but what I mean is getting crystal clear on exactly what you are going to get done and what you are going to accomplish. And the reason that I say it's the hit submit mindset is if you've read anything about me or watched any of my videos, you know that I do a lot of endurance sports and marathons and triathlons and things like that. And the hit submit is basically your mindset when you've registered officially for the race. And it's much different than if you're saying, I'm going to do a 5K or, you know, I think I'll do a triathlon this year. That's totally different than I've paid the money, I've registered, and I'm doing a 5K, a marathon, or a triathlon on this given date. Because when you've registered, when you've paid the money, you are in it. And you have an unwavering commitment to what it is that you are going to get done and what you are going to accomplish. And this has nothing to do with racing. It has everything to do with whatever your goal is out there, whatever you want to get done, you have to hit that submit button because then you are in. You're no longer thinking about it and you're saying, eh, you know, I'll, I'll, I think I'll do it or, you know, someday I'll, I'll give that a shot. No, you know exactly what you're going to get done and when it is going to happen. So that's really the first part. And the second part is after you've hit submit, you have to take massive action. And one of the top earners in the company used the line, massive action solves all problems. And it really does. You have to get out there. You have to start doing things. Um, you have to take massive action in the direction of wherever it is that you want to go. It's a critical component to it. And some people, whether they feel like they're not ready or they need to read more, they need to learn more, um, never even get started. And the massive action are the workouts that will go into a, a 5K, a marathon, or a triathlon. I mean, that's the day-to-day -day actions and what you need to get done to move you forward towards whatever it is that you want to accomplish. You have to take that or you're never going to get where you want to go. So that's the second part. And then the third part of it is you have to be prepared to encounter some obstacles and some adversity along the way. I didn't hear one single person this weekend talk about, you know what, once I got my mindset right, I hit submit and I took massive action. Man, it was just smooth sailing all the way to get to wherever it is that, that I was going. Life doesn't work like that. You're going to get knocked off course. Okay, You're going to take a couple of wrong turns. And I think there are a couple things that you can do that will help you get back on course and will help you to continue to move forward. And the first and foremost one is probably just surrounding yourself with the right people. Most studies will say that you will become the average of the five people that are closest to you. So if you want better finances in your life, hang out with people that are more financially secure. If you want to be more positive, hang out with people who are happier. If you want to be healthier, hang out with people who have what you want or hang out with people who have better health. It's all about who you spend time with and who you surround yourself with because it's a critical component to ultimately what you become. People can either pull you up or they can pull you back down. 
So a common theme that I heard from people is, you know what, when times got tough, when you know we were knocked around a little bit, not only did we have an unwavering belief and, and a commitment towards our goals and what we wanted to accomplish, but we also made sure that we got around the right people. We didn't get around the, the energy vampires and the naysayers and the negative people that pull you down. We got around the people that would pull us back up and get us back on course. And that's the third part of it. And then the fourth part of it is you have to constantly be willing to evaluate where you are and to take steps to be able to improve and tweak what it is that you're doing. You know, every single person that I heard talk had a story about, yeah, oh man, I mean, when I first started out, it was, they had a story about something that they messed up or something that was just absolutely brutal. And I may as well just stay on the race theme. You know, the first time that you go out and you run and bike or swim, if you're doing a triathlon, you're probably not going to be very good at it. Okay, how did you learn to walk? You fell down all the time, right? Well, how would that have worked out if you said, you know what, if I fall down once when I try and walk, I'm just, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm done with it. Would you have ever learned to walk? Same thing with riding a bike. Same thing with anything else. You're going to fall down a little bit, but you tweak, you adjust, you measure what it is that you're doing. You improve your skills and then ultimately that allows you not only to continue to move forward, but when you improve your skills and you tweak different things that you're doing, it allows you to move forward at an accelerated rate. And that's what I heard from all of these people is they were willing to not only get out there, but they were willing to do what it takes to be able to improve, to look in, their, in the mirror, whatever it is, and to make the necessary adjustments. So. Really, I think those are four key critical areas that can help take your performance to a higher level in any area of your life. And I really hope this video served you. As always, it's a beautiful day here in Minnesota, nice and sunny. Uh, wish you the best of health, happiness, and high performance. Have a great day.